It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And if you missed our early edition, we were chatting to an Olympic sensation. It's Lawrence Britton, and he's taking us through an incredible workout here today. Lawrence, you still with us? Still here, still uh, strong. Good to have you, man. Look, we were having such a good chat earlier. The last question I wanted to ask you before we get stuck into the good stuff. I know you as an Olympian now, obviously wanting to row and not being able to. How exactly are you actually getting that rowing practice in and how are you keeping sane? gym and home gym is, is a huge part of, of the training. I also have a rowing machine and a stationary bike, the white bike, and I'm just training flat out on, on, the, on those three elements. And so far, so good. It would be nice <laughs> to get back on the water. And of course, I see you've got your dog there to keep you company as well and uh, extra motivation, which is cool. But for you guys that don't have the incredible equipment that Lawrence does, uh, we got a cool gym hack. So all you're going to need today is a broomstick, all right? Very simple. And grab yourself a chair, a bunkie, or anything else that you can rest your legs on above the ground. And we are ready to shake and bake. So Lawrence, what is the first exercise of the day? How are we going to start this? It's basically a bit of a warm-up. It's uh, going to be a jump. So just with a broomstick behind the back. All right. And um, maximum intensity. Make sure you don't hit the roof. <laughs> and um, yeah, really just warming the, the legs up nice and deep and five jumps. All right, you guys heard the man, so we're going nice and explosive. Get deep on your squat and go for a jump. You mentioned try not hit the roof, so pay attention to that one. And uh, Lawrence, how many reps exactly would we be doing in total of this exercise? Five reps, and then we'll do uh, three sets of them. All right, I've done my five. You heard it at home. We're going for five reps in total, three sets. And as an Olympian rower, Lawrence, how would you benefit from this exercise? I know we're doing a lot of legs. As a rower, I'd think that you need your arms only, so why exactly? are you even training this part of the body? Rowing is all about the legs. Big uh, leg power and you want to be really explosive. Ah. So especially for the football, the race, you want that explosiveness. So that's why the jumps are so important. Okay, brilliant. If you guys didn't hear that at home, make sure that you're not just training your arms. If you plan to be and if you want to become an Olympian and a rower, you guys got to work the entire body. And that's what we're doing right now. We're moving over to our next exercise. Kettlebell swing is just with the weight. And... This is mainly to work the, the glutes and the lower back. I know a lot of people are sitting down a lot during the day, uh, they're stuck at home, they're not moving around as much. So to really use the glutes and use the lower back to keep them warm, and keep them, uh, keep them fit and strong is going to be very important. Oh, Lawrence, you are hitting the nail on the head there. I think a lot of guys sitting at home during lockdown have been sitting at home and working on that lower back. So this is going to be a brilliant one. I've got my gym hack here because I don't have a kettlebell. I'm using this five liter bottle. So let's take it away, brother. Where do we begin? Uh, uh, we begin from in front. And remember to, to really push through the heels and keep the heels planted throughout the, the whole exercise. To really use the hips. All right, push through the heels, guys, it's throughout the entire exercise. Keep it nice and planted. And as you can see the man go, he's getting a nice ballistic movement, a good swing. How many reps in total, Lawrence? You want to do five, and if you're feeling strong, you can do it up to 10. All right, so you're going for a minimum of five and you're feeling strong, go up to 10. And if you have any dogs in your gym area, make sure you don't knock them out <laughs> in the process. And I've just done my 10. Oh, feeling the burn in my glutes very nicely there, brother. That was a good one. Let's move over to the next one. What are we doing? Whew. One is going to be a break from the legs and the glutes. So we're going to do uh, some push-ups. But you know, everyone's doing push-ups, so we're going to spice it up a bit with some incline push-ups. Oh. So <laughs> I like that. We're getting spicy now, guys. So we're doing push-ups, but not the conventional kind. We're going to get it a little bit of elevation, making it a bit harder. And as you can see, Lawrence is getting set up and ready over there. Okay, I've got my chair. Feet are on the chair, right? All right. Well, we don't want to be doing, uh, you know, 20, 50 reps. We want to be doing 6 to 10 reps. So really slow, trying to be 3 seconds down, 3 seconds up. All right, a nice tempo, which is, again, I would imagine it's going to build a lot more muscle going slower, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, and if you thought push-ups were hard, you guys have to try this at home. One, two, 
three. So Lawrence is saying we're going to reduce the tempo here, make it nice and slow. That's going to give us that eccentric load that's going to really build the size in our arms. And just me standing here, the core is also working overtime. So <laughs> you don't have any extra challenges like Lawrence does in his video. You guys can go ahead and enjoy a nice slow tempo. Three seconds down and three seconds up. And oh, my arms and everything else is shaking here. Is that normal, Lawrence? Oh, this is lovely. Really about working the, the muscles nice and slow. So, uh, so you should be a little bit shaky uh, to hold that speed. The slower you can go, the better. I'd rather do less reps slower than more reps nice and quick and explosive. Oh, I love that. Speaking my language now. Go slower, control your reps. Essentially, it's quality over quantity here. Yeah? And you are definitely going to feel a shake and a burn in those arms. This was a great run, bro. If you got anything next or anything else prepared for us, I'm already feeling this. The last one is just uh, back to the legs and back to those brutes and it's a nice lunge. All right. Again with the I'm ready. So we're grabbing our broomstick again once again, guys. We just finished the upper body, moving back downstairs. I've got my broomstick. We're putting it behind our head, Lawrence. Ah, there he is. All right, I'm ready. Broomstick is just to hold the posture, keep that back nice and tall and the shoulders back. Otherwise, we're going to lunge forward and we're going to put weight on that front foot. Okay, nice. Same. And just alternating legs, all the way down. Get that bit of stretch in the quad as well as we go down. All right, so you heard the man. We're keeping the broomstick here just to maintain our posture and keep our core correct. And then once we're lunging, he wants to get a good stretch in that back leg. So that would be when I'm lunging in this position, that's my leg on the behind over here. And that quad is gonna get an extra stretch, which I think is very important for these rowers. I always thought that they'd be using the upper body a lot, but it seems like the lower body is where all the power is to be had. How many reps in total, man? Whew. Uh, 10 on each leg, so it's quite a long one. Yeah, this is a goodie though. I'd imagine on a, on a row you're doing a lot more reps than 10, so this is perfect training for that power, getting that ballistic movement and that speed in. Oh, and I'm feeling it now, especially on that quad with that big stretch. That was a really good tip. Loving it. Woo. Oh, all right, almost done, guys. Two more reps, and last one. It is done, Lawrence. You have been absolutely incredible. It's so good to have you in the studio this morning, man. And I cannot wait to see your performance next year in that Tokyo Olympic Games, man. I'm wishing you nothing but the best. And once again, thank you so much for being in the studio with us. Thanks so for having me. And yeah, enjoy the exercises. Can do that uh, each of them, you know, three, four times. And if you're feeling strong, push yourself and uh, make sure it hurts. All right, Thanks, you heard guys. the man. <laughs> so the rest of you guys at home, join us as we do this entire workout once again on Facebook Live. And we are going to get our burn on. <laughs> but stay tuned for more magic coming up in the show. And ooh, I'm going to get back to business. Cheers, guys. Whew.